we must consciously and deliberately affirm the experiences and lived realities of our people through the law. Just as in Kenya, they are grappling with the idea of Wanjiku, the ordinary woman to whom the law must respond, I suggest that we should perhaps take forward the Justice Kakura approach and try to, try to unpack who this Umundu Wawansi is. And that might perhaps have important answers for us in this new normal that is actually old. It is 48 years today since that day engraved in our collective memory in infamy when the Chief Justice of Uganda was, with flagrant ignominy, blatantly dragged from, the, from his chambers in the High Court building where we are gathered today. The judiciary of Uganda has made the conscious decision to annually honor the memory of Chief Justice Benedicto Kiwanoka. We commemorate Chief Justice Benedicto Kiwanoka in recognition of the role he played in the independence politics of Uganda. And as a person who believed in the importance of having a country run on the basis of a democratic dispensation. The African judges, African litigants, African lawyers should go beyond what, uh, what was laid down for them in independence, which was basically that you just have to, to tweak the law a little bit. What my, my suggestion was that what we need is something more radical, a, a more radical approach in which the law itself is, uh, is, is, is radically changed so that it works better for those uh, who, who, who would use it. 